Alternator Man here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the voltage regulator on a Ford Motorcraft 6G series alternator. The voltage regulator is the part that you plug into here. It's the go-between between the battery and the alternator. It basically controls the alternator. So the first step on changing the voltage regulator is to remove this rear plastic cover. Now be real careful getting this cover off here. If you pry up too much on this cover, you can break the internal tolerance ring you don't want to do that. Now this cover covers the tolerance ring on the back of the alternator and you want to pry this, this cover up and off of here without breaking the tolerance ring. So it can be quite difficult. You want to get the, you want to get the cover just by the very edge uh, so you don't break this tolerance ring. See this cover snaps over the edge of this tolerance ring. You want to get that cover off without breaking that tolerance ring. And the fact is I would recommend buying an extra tolerance ring when you get the bearing because this, this is what will happen if you pry too much underneath that you'll end up breaking the tolerance ring. So uh, you might want to purchase a tolerance ring with that when you, when you uh, get a new alternator. Now the next step on this is to remove the battery post extender. Uh, this procedure covers all the large case and small case 6G series. All the different mounting styles, they'll have different back ends, different front ends, they'll have all kinds. Some of them won't even have this battery post extender. You'll just have a red plastic insulator around here. And the next next step is to take the three through bolts out. Here's the hard part. You have to get this rear cover up off of here. And the way to do it is get a screwdriver between the back housing and the bridge rectifier here and just pry it, pry it up. They can be very, very tough to get off. So you just want to get up underneath there and pry that back end up off of there. You're going to get to the point where you're going to Put another screwdriver under here. And you'll hear it creak up off of there. There we go. This can be a real difficult part. You might even need help. It almost takes three hands to get this crack off of there. But once you do it, there you go. The cover comes off. Now you've exposed your voltage regulator. It takes three torque screws to get this regulator off. Now you're about ready to take the regulator off. Now important point on this, these brushes are inside this brush holder. They're riding on a slip ring. There's a little groove right here between the bearing and the slip rings. A lot of times the brushes will drop in there and as you're taking it out it'll give you a hard time. So it's good to take a feeler gauge or a piece of pop can or just something that you can slide down in there. Slide it in there and then pull your, pull your brush holder voltage regulator assembly out of there. Then what you want to do is uh, check these slip rings out, inspect them clean them. Uh, do a continuity check from this slip ring to this slip ring. These two slip rings are actually connected to a coil of wire inside that, inside the rotor. One end of the coil goes to one slip ring, one end of the coil goes to the other slip ring. So get a continuity check across there and make sure that's a complete circuit and then you're ready to put your voltage regulator on. Now here's the new voltage regulator. And so what you do is you just put your three torque screws back down in there. And these should go in nice and even. Get them all started because they're spinning real easy. If they don't want to go, then 
back them up back up and make sure you're getting them in there they should just spin in there real easily Now you don't want to over tighten these, but you want to get them tight enough so that they, your regulator is not going to come loose at some point, but get them good and tight. Now the next step is very, very important. These brush holes come loaded with a, with a pin in them to hold the brushes back. As soon as you get this voltage regulator, make sure you pull out that pin. If you don't, and you put the rear cover on there with that pin in there, you have to take the whole unit back apart and start over and your alternator will not work so there you got the voltage regulator down in now we're ready to put the rear cover on now on these rear covers what you want to do is this tolerance ring you want to go in here and you just take a utility knife and just shave a little bitty bevel on the inside of this tolerance ring to aid in getting it on you don't take off very much you're just going to get in here and shave the edge of this tolerance ring just a little bitty bit all the way around the perimeter and that will aid it going back on now these tolerance rings just slide out this way so you don't want to just put this on here and push down on the outside of the housing because all you end up doing is popping that tolerance ring out of there your focus is to get the tolerance ring down on and then the housing will go with it so what I'm going to do is I just push on it with the heel of my hand kind of rock it around pound on it push around once you get it started then you want to take your trusty little block of wood and a nice dead impact hammer and carefully tap that tap that rear housing down that tolerance ring down in as you do the tolerance ring the rest of the housing will come with it so as I say your focus is to bring this tolerance ring down not so much the housing because once you do it when you get that tolerance ring down in there the housing will go with it once you get her down in there you put your Three through bolts back in. Make sure they're started nice and straight and even. Now I recommend hand tightening these through bolts. I started with a wrench, but you want to hand tighten these so you can feel them. Which ones are going? And finish getting them good and tight there you go get that all there together real good then once you get that in there you want to go back again take your little trusty block of wood and give another tap or two on that tolerance ring to make sure you relax that bearing that that tolerance ring is down to really good because sometimes you pull this housing down it puts some strain on it and uh, so you want after you get your through bolts tight you want to tap on that tolerance ring a little bit more to tighten it up and then the next step is just to put your uh, put your uh, your battery post back in there and see this housing is just a little bit off so I gotta give it a little bit of a tap get her straightened out so this will go down in there and get that battery post extender down in there Once you get that all on there, you take your little cap that you took off earlier, snap it back on, and that is it. You have successfully changed the voltage regulator on a Ford 6G series alternator.